Hello and welcome to another video of my channel. In today's episode, I'm showing you how a student dormitory in Potsdam looks like. But I have a very good friend living here, so I decided that it would be a good idea to show you how is a student dormitory in a different state of Germany. In my previous video, I was showing you how it looks in Flensburg. But now I'm showing you the one in Potsdam, the capital of the state of Brandenburg, very near to Berlin. <laughs> so, uh, so this is how the full student dormitory looks like. Here you have all the bikes, here you have some flowers, all the rooms. My friend Natalia and many people in here live in shared rooms. This means that there are two beds and you should normally share the room with another person. But my friend's very lucky and she lives alone. <laughs> Here is a parking lot and over there you have the university. Look, there is my friend Natalia. Saluda Natalia! <laughs> Somehow I forgot to speak English in this part, but look, there is my friend and I'm going to see her room right now. Hola Natalia. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Welcome to your crib. Gracias. Let us see. So first of all, let's leave our shoes because we are in Germany. This is the room. This room was made for two people. So here we have one bed and in here we have another bed. And this is the room basically. A little bit of a mess. We have a desk, a computer, a our map of the city of Potsdam. Here we have the kitchen with everything you need. An oven, stove, the thing to boil the tea. And this is the view you get from the window. And tell us, Natalia, how much do you pay for this place per month? 225 euros. But normally she should live with another person. But now, due to coronavirus, I'm living alone. She's living alone. But normally, another person should sleep in the other bed. Yeah, I should uh, share with another person. But you're lucky. You're alone. Yeah, Great. I'm lucky. And was it easy to get a place in in Potsdam? No, it wasn't easy because I had to apply and I had to wait many months. Then came like two weeks before I came to Germany. I was I mm. wasn't accepted. And did you have to pay a deposit? Yeah, 300 euros. And beside the monthly fee of 225, do you have to pay extra for services like the internet or electricity or something extra? Uh, just for the internet. I pay for per semester 30 euros and my laundry. Okay, so the only extra expenses you have are the internet 30 euros per semester and extra if you want to wash your clothes 2 euros per machine. Yeah. That's great. Let's see what you have here. Student food, and open fridge. Oh, nice. Nice bathroom. And this is the bathroom. So, yeah, it's just a normal bathroom. Shower is here. I want to show you a place but next to the student in Bonheim. <laughs> here, uh, many students uh, have parties and meet each other to read, to study, to party, to everything. It's very cool. What do you think, Natalia? Yeah, it's the best. Let's see. Hey guys, uh, so I decided that to make this video more complete, I will show you also this student dormitory that it's near the university, it's near the Neuen Palais and the main university in Potsdam. It's really cute, it's really nice. I will show you how it looks so you can compare between the Golm dormitory and this one. So this is how the hall looks like. These are all the rooms of people living here. Mine, mine is this one. And I'm gonna show you how it looks through the window. This is the view we have from the window. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how it's my room now. And here it is. So first we have like a closet, normal closet. 
Then in every room you can find a chair, a fridge like this. Also we have this desk to put our computer to work, curtains, a heater. This is a fan, but this is actually something that was not with the room. And this is the bed, nice bed with a place to charge your phone. Wait, uh, now I'm going to show you, now I'm going to show you the bathroom. Here's a nice mirror. And yes, the bathroom looked like this. This is the shower, sink, toilet. It's complete, it's just a normal bathroom. So this student dormitory is 250 euros per month and you also have to apply in Studentenberg. The good thing about this dormitory, it's new, it's more modern than other student dormitories that I have seen in this area. Also, it's nice that you have your own bathroom. The only bad thing is that you have to share the kitchen, but it's nice because you can meet people there and it's clean, it's not bad. Then I'm gonna go and show you from the outside. That's all for today's video. I hope this was useful for you and I hope this helps you find the right student dormitory for you in Potsdam. I highly recommend to live here, it's a very nice place and it's near Berlin, it's perfect. Just just going to link here below uh, where can you apply for one of these dormitories. Have a good one, bye!